Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Hello, everyone, and we're back with Rebecca Mohat from the Nueces County Juvenile Justice Volunteers. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. She's got so much to talk about. We kept her around because there's a whole other spectrum to this the program that you're offering. Tell me the story behind the tattoo removal program for these juveniles. We're talking about kids that are coming in, they've gotten in trouble, they need help. You're offering faith-based counseling, you have therapy dogs, you're giving them clothes, you're giving them hygiene products, and you're offering this very unique service. And I want to hear more about it. Okay, well, about two years ago, I was mentoring a young man. Mm -hmm. He was from Houston, and he had a gang tattoo on, on his, uh, the top of his hand. He desperately wanted that removed because he was going to go back home, go back to the same neighborhood. And they and when you have a gang tattoo or you've been in a gang, you're targeted. You're marked, I mean, you yeah. go back, they want you back in. Mm -hmm. He did not want to go back into the gang. So I started making phone calls to the few places here that offer tattoo removal. And either the wait was six to eight weeks, they oh, didn't want to do it at a it. discount, or they weren't going to do it for free. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was very frustrating for me and it just made me sad because he, I had to send him away mm -hmm. without helping him with that. And, and what occurred to our board was, you know, we're doing all these awesome things, job programs and faith-based mentoring and we're really, you know, trying to invest in these kids. But what about the physical marks? Mm -hmm that and target the them thing, yeah. and even uh, employers will not hire you when you have visible tattoos. Mm -hmm. And speaking of tattoos, you mentioned the gang tattoos, but there's another form of tattoo. Yes, women that we been. also have uh, victims of sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. We have a wonderful child sex trafficking, uh, anti-child sex trafficking mm -hmm. organization. And so they are marked town. when they're Yes, they that. are tattooed by their trafficker. Mm -hmm. That's a sign of ownership. And so we don't want those kids either to yeah, have to live with that. So if they're that. rescued and uh, New Life Refuge Ministries puts them through a program to help them heal and, mm -hmm. and get to start fresh. So we want to come in and say, well, let, let us remove that tattoo. So then they, they don't even have to think about that anymore. So you went out and bought the machine. You were telling well, me how took, frustrated you were. Made some moves. We are a nonprofit. Well, she said, "I'm not going to sit here and take no for an answer." <laughs> That's she right. bought the machine. Look at that there thing. There it is. And that's We're so not proud a cheap of it. Machine. That's Looks like um, R2 it took two, two years there. of raising money, mm -hmm. and we're so excited um, just over the organizations that donated because they believe in this cause. Yeah. And and I've I've got a lot of kids right now that are incarcerated that would love to have their tattoo removed. Mm -hmm. Many are gang tattoos. Now I will tell you. There will be no qualification for a child of sex trafficking. They just come in, come in we take it time. off. But for a kid that's been in a gang or just has tattoos for whatever reason, they they will be required to go through a 10-week program. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's like a discipleship program. Uh, the book is called Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. Mm -hmm. And it will help them kind of rethink about how they can be successful and, and how to do that. Once they complete that program, then we will remove their tattoo. But we have to know they're serious. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of kids, oh ma'am, I want this one off because I want a different one. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Wrong. That ain't how we play this game, honey buns. Yeah, exactly. So they have to be serious about changing their life. I think that's a wonderful service that's, to offer. Now, now, do you have the machine at the juvenile center? No, I have it safely secure you at my to. home <laughs> because the we've got an RN, an esthetician, and an MD mm -hmm. that will be training uh, to do the to provide this service. Okay. So we've got to get the training done, and but and we're you launching that the sex trafficking victims do not have to go through any process to have this. Absolutely done. not. What is the, how do they do? They just show up at the. Anyone, um, <laughs> right, well, right now for, for the sex trafficking survivors, mm -hmm. I like to say survivors yes. instead of victims, yes. um, we will receive those from New Life Refuge Ministries. Okay. They will direct us Perfect. to those kids. And the kids, the other 
group of children will be those that are either incarcerated or on probation. And hopefully we will expand that program, but that's how we're starting And right we need now. donations in wow. order to expand Ple that program. Yes, because that program will need to be funded, will need continual funding, and plus we just need funding to provide all the things that we provide for these kids to help them be successful. I will tell y'all, this is what I tell my kids. I love C.S. Lewis. C.S. <laughs> Lewis says, or has said, you can't go back and change your beginning, but you can start today to change your ending. Very true. And that's what we're all about. And you've had some pretty significant donations by some locals? Um, if I may mention, you may. Corpus Christi uh, Police Officers Association, oh, amazing. Sheriff J.C. Hooper, mm -hmm. uh, District Attorney uh, Mark Gonzalez. Okay, we just had him on the show. Um, and one more. Well, do, do you, <laughs> She's like, wait, think, wait, think. Clarissa, do you <laughs> notice? Do you notose how she calls them my kids? Uh-huh. Yes, they are my exactly. kids. <laughs> Guys, on the screen there we have the information. So whether it be a small or very large donation, <clears throat> they're willing and ready to take them all on so we can help the children in our community get their lives back in order, get rid of those tattoos so that they can make these big changes and grow up to be outstanding citizens in our community. Visit ncjjv.com for more details. You can stop by 2310 Gallahar Road to make any type of donations. That's money, clothing, especially hygiene items. And those are easy little things that you can buy. Every If you could just make a habit of every time you go to the store, just get one thing that isn't for you. One thing to donate, collect them, drop them off once a week. And before you know it, you're Helping out these the, little kids. The, and the school clothes, is, do they have to be new or can it be gently They new? must be new because okay. the uh, Juvenile Justice Center has no way of sanitizing them okay. Okay. and that's required. Clothes, so they guys. must be new. All right, well, Good. thank you so much for stopping by. Thank and you guys for having us. Thank you so us. much. Thank, thank you. you. All right.